Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my off-grid studio in an undisclosed bunker in Northern Arizona. <laughs> this is an explication request. The uh, best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you're looking for a paid supplement, I highly recommend the Kaplan Q Bank. It's best in class. We'll help you with any question, just easier. If it's a Kaplan question, because you poured the QID and I can bring it up backstage like uh, this one. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, invest in Kaplan Q Bank with my 15% discount code at checkout, Guru15, it's $58.50. Well worth the investment. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give a free look on uh, Kaplan content like this. This is the uh, explication request for QID 139-1011. For an out-of-the-money equity option expiring in seven months of the time value, the option would most likely be. So uh, I think when you get a question like this, sometimes it's uh, helpful to make up your own scenario and just uh, you know go through it and see what that would look like. So out-of-the-money is the relationship of the strike price of the option contract to the market price of the stock. So I'm simply going to make up one to kind of look at. And so let's just make up something that meets the parameters of the question. Let's say Apple's trading at 186 and we're looking at an Apple August 200 call. So the 200 call there, as you can see, uh, is out of the money. You know, the relationship is in the money. You know, 180 call with the Apple at 186 would be in the money, six points. Call up is a great memory aid device. Uh, in the money is synonymous with intrinsic value. At the money, you know, at the money would be when the market price and the strike price are the same. It's an Apple 185 call and Apple's at 185. Right now, Apple's at 186. Uh, we're looking at an August 200 call and that has uh, out of the money. There's no such thing as negative intrinsic value. We would just say that that contract is out of the money. Uh, please note it's seven months expiration, right? I'm coming to you in January, so that's seven months out. And uh, then what we need to know is that the premium of an option contract consists of two things. You know, if we are looking at an Apple August 200 call and it's trading at nine, we said the 200 call is out of the money. It has no intrinsic value. And the intrinsic value uh, minus the premium equals the time value. So they're telling me here the time value of the option contract would most likely be. Well, again, if we put some numbers to this and we say, okay, the premium is nine. I uh, made that up to illustrate this question. There's no intrinsic value. The time value is nine. The premium equals the time value. But, or we could look at it this way. We should know that intrinsic value plus time value equals premium. I'll link in the video description and a pinned comment to an entire lecture on this concept of intrinsic value. I personally don't care for this question because the test itself doesn't go too much into out of the money. You know, the test likes to say at expiration, the stock is, and you know, or several weeks later, the stock is, and you close out intrinsic value. So intrinsic value is a more important concept as a test taker. That being said, the other way to think of this is the intrinsic value, which in this example is zero, plus the time value, which is nine, equals the premium. And so that kind of gives us this uh, answer to this question. If we're looking at an option contract that has no intrinsic value, the premium would consist of time value. So in the case where there's no intrinsic value, the intrinsic value, no intrinsic value, the time value would equal the premium. So that is the answer to the question. Our expectation would be, the expectation we would be, whoop, sorry, is that it would be equal uh, to that. Uh, what happened to my thing? There we go. So there's the answer to the question. For now, that uh, money equity option contract is buying here in seven months. If we're looking at an August uh, Apple 200 call, and Apple's at 186, I'm just now putting in the Apple contract, the time value of the Apple August 200 contract would most likely be equal to the premium. Hope you found that helpful. Remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cent, yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And we will see you for the next explication request, if not sooner. Bye-bye.